What's going on, everybody? A lot of us wonder if we are a good friend. A lot of us hope that we are a good friend, but that's just because we're in our own mind and we, of course, want to think that we are the best because it makes us feel good. I myself have certainly fucked up as a friend, and for the most part, I do know what my mistakes were. And as I talk to more and more people, they themselves realize what their mistakes were as well. So today, I'm gonna to be going over some ways to be a better friend. That way you can have a better relationship with not just the people that you care about, but more importantly, the people that care about you. So as always, let's jump right into it. Handsome like Mr. Clean, flaming like some kerosene, fresh in some Listerine, looking like a stream. Now you don't need to have a million friends in order to be a good friend. I know this is weird for me to start talking about, but a lot of people think that just because someone is nice to you and that you're nice to them, that automatically makes you friends. It doesn't. So first off, you need to change your definition of what a friend is. A friend is someone who actually provides value to you and who genuinely wants to see your growth and not just someone that you talk to on occasion. I can count more often than not people that I thought were my friend, but in the end just turned out to be people who were willing to fuck me over if it meant it benefited them. But let's get back on topic. Let's say you have three or four really good friends, which is really all that you need. You can have five or six, but three to four is really good for you. So. How do you become a better friend to them? Well, first off, this is kind of a no-brainer, but it is important to say you need to know as much about them as possible. Everything from their life story, their likes, their dislikes, how they grew up in their own neighborhood, to how they handle certain situations, to how they handle certain emotions. This way you truly know the type of person that they are. For example, someone may always be talkative around you, constantly telling stories, constantly making jokes, but around other people is quite anxious. But if you don't know them that well and you just think that they're your friend, well, you're never going to know this and it's going to come as a shock to you. You need to make sure that they can come to you in times of need to actually relay their issues to you. However, sometimes people do just need to vent which goes into the second thing you need to do as a good friend. You need to learn how to shut your mouth sometimes. I know this is a little bit blunt, but this is incredibly important. Sometimes a person just needs to talk. They've been staying quiet all day, buried under stress, buried under all their problems and mental issues. And at the end of the day, they just need to let it all out. Now, I understand you may want to give advice during certain times, but in other cases, you just need to open your ears to them. This may sound like basic advice, but coming from someone who has just wanted to vent and who has relayed this to other people, I guarantee you, ask your friends if they need advice or they just need to vent. This can greatly help the conversation move along. Sometimes a person really just needs to hear, you're right, today was just a bad day. Third, you always keep your word. Random example, let's say I ask you, my friend, to watch my dog on Friday at 2.30 p.m. And all of a sudden you cancel because at the last minute, your Tinder date decided that she was available all of a sudden and you canceled something that I trusted you with just to go get laid. This is being a bad friend. You are abandoning your word for your own self-pleasure. Now look, there are emergencies, there are last minute cancellations, but those should really only be happening 5% of the time. If you're someone who's constantly having emergencies, either A, your life is in really bad distress, or B, you're lying and you just don't want to do it. Saying that you don't want to do something just because you don't feel like doing it for a friend is a weak man's way of being a friend because I guarantee you this can and will translate over to other responsibilities. And lastly in this video, I will go over what it actually means to improve as a friend. Just like with anything in self-improvement, your social skills always need to be improving. Now, I'm gonna be very careful here. Unlike with your mental and physical health, which do need to be improving every day, your social skills don't need to be improving every single day. But you should be checking in on your friends as you can. You should be there for your friends when they need it. You should be trying to strengthen those relationships in every way you can. 
Now, besides the reasons listed at other points in this video, there is one other thing you can do to improve as a friend, and that's building trust. Now, that's a very, very, very broad subject to tackle, but how you do that is going to depend on the friend you have. It may mean having long and deep philosophical talks to understand each other's brain better. It may mean going through hardship and coming out the other side stronger with that person. It may even mean being apart for long periods of times, but when y'all meet up, y'all emotionally support each other. There are a ton of different things to do when building trust. And while I may not have the scenario exactly for you and your friend, everything in that relationship to strengthen will involve having a bond between you and that person that is built upon on honor and respect. Thank you for watching this video. And if you watched this far, this means that you want to be a better friend. So share this video with one of your friends so that way you and that person can become better friends to each other. Like and subscribe, be safe, and stay smart. Peace. Handsome like Mr. Clean, flaming like some kerosene, fresher than some Listerine, looking like a string bean.